Hi, Black Cat Demon here, and I finally got around to building the American Graffiti Deuce Coop model. And here it is. This should have been something that took between two to three weeks to build. This ended up taking me over a month to build. This kit was a pain in the ass kit to build. It fought me tooth and nail from the beginning to the end. I did a lot of work on this. I had to extend some parts, cut some parts down. I did uh, washes on it. I just, it, like I said, it took a lot of time and it took a lot of effort to make this car look correct. Um, I used it for my reference materials. I was watching American Graffiti. I was getting stills off that. I looked at Kip's website. I looked at Ken's website. I even uh, watched uh, Hot Rods Across the USA. And the Hot Rods DVD actually post turned out to be like one of the best parts as far as the detail work. And what I mean by that is there was this one shot in the whole, the whole movie where the camera comes around the front of the car and it pans around the driver's side, all the way around the back, all the way along the passenger side. Another thing that helped out during that shot was they had the doors open, so the camera also showed you the interior and dropped down and showed you a little bit underneath the car. That actually turned out to be pretty cool because that that part of the movie, as, as quick as it goes by, actually showed me the one thing I really wanted to see, which was the radiator hose. So that showed me the way the radiator hose is ran on this car. Um, it also showed me how the, pl how the plug wires come up through the exhaust, how they go around the back and everything. So I kind of liked that little shot alone because that showed me some of the stuff I was trying to get right. Another thing was too is that also confirmed it as far as the interior being black as far as the camera went up a little bit. So you got to see a little bit like the shot coming inward like uh, from the door. So I actually got to see the inside of the roof to a degree. So that showed me that that was all black. I painted the interior as close as I could to the to what they showed. Same with the gauges and everything. Same with the steering wheel. I wanted to make sure everything was kind of accurate to some degree. Even though this car is not 100% movie accurate as far as from the seat to the motor, I tried to make it as cool as I could and make it as close to the movie. Um, I also did a lot more extra work on it as far as like sanding the tires and roughing it up a little bit because I was entering into a model contest. But um, like I said, this, this kit took a lot of work, it took a lot of effort. I ended up uh, slicing my two fingers open with an X-Acto knife, working on the back bumper here, trying to drill out the holes a little bit. And yeah, this kit cost a little bit of blood too. But um, I got photos with this thing from the beginning to the end. So it looks cool with the box artwork, it looks cool with the dragster next to it. So here is uh, the American Graffiti Deuce Coupe model and thanks for watching.